Hey everybody, I'm gonna get straight to it. This is going to be a Black Friday computer build guide. All of these sales that you're gonna see are gonna be components that I am actually buying for myself. I have a family member who needs a computer and this computer will be capable of video editing, any content creation, Photoshop, you name it, streaming, as well as gaming. So if you're looking for a computer that can do all of that, this will be a very good guide for you. And in case you catch this video late, after Black Friday, you can actually still use this guide to build yourself this computer because these components tend to run a little bit on the cheaper, more affordable side, but still have excellent value because their performance has always been, since the release, very strong. And I can imagine that this computer and this build list will be relevant for at least the next two, three years. So let's get right into it. Number one, we're gonna be talking about the processor. Every build starts with a processor. This is the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. This has been the processor that literally every tech tuber is talking about. We've all done our homework and we've seen that this thing is going for incredibly cheap. It has eight cores clocked at 3.4 gigahertz and can be overclocked. And it is going for $150 on Newegg.com. That's where a lot of these deals will be coming from. But one thing to point out is that if you guys are actually located near a micro center, you can actually go in the store and get one for a stupid price of $130. Now, a lot of you don't live near a micro center, so the other option you can actually look into is if you go on eBay right now, there is a code, it's called PICKFAST, all caps, you probably don't need to use all caps, but you know, they put it in all caps, pick fast, and they will give you 15% off of anything. That deal is gonna to end today. You're seeing this video, it ends today, I believe at 8 p.m. East Coast time. You know, you can do your own homework if you go on ebay.com, it'll tell you. But that code only works on mobile, only on the app. So if you can get a smartphone that has access to the eBay app, pick out what you're gonna buy there, put in the code pick out fast before you pay, and you'll get 15% off. Here's what I'm actually gonna be throwing this processor in. I'm gonna be using an X370 motherboard. Now, if you want to use Newegg.com and if you're okay with mail-in rebates, here's a pretty good suggestion. This is the MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon. Beautiful motherboard. It does have a, a, quite a bit of features. The one thing that I will point out though is that if you are gonna be buying this motherboard, if you don't like mail-in rebates, it's gonna cost you $110. Here's the thing with mail-in rebates. Sometimes they get lost in the mail. Sometimes you actually get the card and you don't activate it. Sometimes you get the card, activate it and forget you have it and then you don't end up spending the money and the card expires relatively quickly. So, but here's the thing, if you do like mail-in rebates, it'll end up costing you $80. If you don't, $110. So if you don't wanna deal with any of that, what I'm actually doing is getting a CPU motherboard combo through Newegg.com. I've done my homework and seen X370 motherboards on eBay, as well as the processor, and tried to see if that 15% discount was worth it, but I ended up deciding that this is actually a better value for my dollar. We're getting both the motherboard and processor for under $250, which is an incredible deal, and I'm more than happy with that. So as for the cooler, this is an eight core processor, and eight cores working in one tiny little chip can run pretty hot if you were gonna be streaming or in gaming and, and doing anything that is an activity for a lengthy period of time at your computer. I personally am not gonna be buying it, but this is my suggestion to you, there is a dual fan radiator that is going for decently cheap. If you get it on Newegg right now, $60. Again, mail and rebate. If you wanna go ahead and do that, you'll save yourself another 10 bucks and get it for 50. As for the case, we're gonna be getting the H500i. I believe this is an absolutely beautiful case has a lot of features. One, it has the RGB lighting here at the top, it has the vertical GPU mount, and then finally it has a beautiful, simple design with tempered glass on the side. Now, like I said before, if you wanna get this thing for cheaper, you'd go to eBay, find the same case, you'll see it's similarly priced, $85, buy it through the mobile app, which by the way, you can only use PickFast once. Don't try to do multiple purchases, get everything you want, buy it all at the same time. Save yourself 15% off, save yourself the additional money, go through eBay if the product that I am suggesting is on there. If you don't want to get this case, because there are better deals out there, something I would recommend that still looks very sleek, very nice, and is actually even cheaper, is the Fractal Design Mesh 5C White. Now, I love white cases. I don't know if a lot of you do. I personally, I just, big fan. So, this case, 
Very beautiful, doesn't have the vertical GPU mount, does have the PSU shroud, has the white, simple, tempered glass look. So if this is something you would like, it's amazing. It goes for $10 cheaper and you would get the additional 15% off. So that's up to you. As for the RAM, we are gonna be going with the Corsair Vengeance RGB. And we're gonna get 16 gigabytes clocked at 3000 megahertz speed. And even better, the latency is 15. So this will run quite nice. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Ryzen processors work better with specific types of RAM. Corsair Vengeance is one of those brands, which is why I am personally recommending it. But the other reason we're going with this specifically, because there are some cheaper options, not much cheaper, but you know, just slightly, is because it actually has this beautiful RGB, which I love. Now, you know, my family member probably isn't gonna need it or notice it all that much, but it helps tie in the overall aesthetic together a little bit nicely, especially if you're trying to match a color scheme. And I think the details matter. And since I know I'm gonna be building this thing, I wanna put my best foot forward when I'm doing that. As for the drive, I'm gonna be going with the Crucial MX M.2 250 gigabyte SSD. Now, the reason I'm going with an M.2 SSD and not the traditional is because me personally, getting a little bit tired of the additional cable management of having a traditional SSD where you take the SATA cable, plug it into the drive, run it through the case, get it into the motherboard. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, it does add a little bit of extra work. And I'm gonna try to avoid that because it'll make the build process a little bit easier. And since it is Black Friday, let's splurge, you know, let's get something a little bit nicer. So we're gonna get this M.2. If you do wanna save that little bit of money, cause you know, this does cost 50 bucks for only 250 gigabytes of space. You could get a PNY CS900 for $46. You know, ultimately it's up to you. I think after you install your operating system, you'll have about 20 gigabytes less of space. But since it is only going to be a boot drive, I think that is more than fine for what we need for this computer. However, if that small amount of space really is gonna bug you that much, on eBay, they're actually selling two terabyte WD black hard drives. These are top of the line hard drives. They work really, really well. I actually use one for my home security system and I've never had a failure. Everything records perfectly to it. So I can imagine for your computer needs, it would be more than fine. Now, as for the power supply, this Black Friday, there are actually a ton of different options. If you were to go through Newegg, in my opinion, the best value would be the EVGA 550B3. It's 80 plus bronze rated. It is fully modular, which is awesome for those of you who are really nitpicky with your cable management, but it is $50. And I do know that there is a 15% off code through eBay like we've touched on before. So I'm actually gonna be getting the Rosewell 650 watt gaming computer power supply. And it's actually only $45 not even taking in that 15% off yet. So save even more money. And it does come with an additional 100 watts of power. It isn't fully modular like the B3 is, but for me, that's not too big of a deal because I'm actually pretty slow with my cable management. So I know I can do a pretty good job of it anyways. If you wanna save even more money, you can actually still go to the Midweek Madness page on EVGA that is only today because it is a Wednesday and you can get an EVGA 400 and save yourself what? Oh God, it's $15. I mean, I don't recommend getting a 400 watt power supply for this build at all, but you can scroll down and find better options and do more of your own homework if you really are trying to save, you know, an additional 20 bucks. Now, as for the graphics card, this Black Friday, I actually am not going to recommend you buy a graphics card. I I'm just saying that for this specific instance right now. It is the 21st of November. Out of all of the deals that I've seen from all my websites, from everywhere I check, I have not found anything that I can personally recommend to you that I think is worth spending money on brand new. I know a lot of you guys are probably not happy about that answer, but here's the thing. From one person to another who really is trying to save some money, if I found something that was even like remotely worth suggesting, I would have done it. I just, I cannot bring myself to tell you something just to make it easier. It, there is nothing I can see today, today that is, that is worth spending money on that is a good sale price. Now, if you really, really desperately need something, you're like, please spoon feed me the answer. If you go to Zotac, if you Google literally Zotac refurbished, and you look at their refurbished products, 
There is this 1063 gigabyte variant for, you know, under $100 before shipping. If you calculate shipping, it'll probably end up coming to like 110. And for a refurbished product, which will probably give you a year of warranty, that's a pretty good deal. I wouldn't buy this. I, I don't really love Zotac, but it's something there and it is pretty good value, but it isn't brand new. So that's part of the reason why I'm kind of hesitant to suggest it. Now, if you want to continue to do your own homework and stay updated on the Black Friday deals, because as we're all kind of seeing, Black Friday isn't turning into like a one day, here's everything, pick what you want quickly before it runs out of stock. It's kind of been this week long thing for us this year. So here's my best suggestion to you. If, if you don't already follow this, you need to. Get a Reddit account and follow the subreddit build a PC sales. These are all sales that are being posted by users who like you and me are looking for the best deal possible. You can sort all of the deals by hot and see what is the most upvoted deals that people are going after, or you can sort it by new and see which deals are being posted minute by minute as this Black Friday unveils. So if you're gonna be using my specific suggestions to build this computer, this Black Friday, this computer minus the graphics card should cost you just under $600. Now I know 600 isn't a small amount of money, but when I think of the first computer I ever bought for $800, that thing could not do 25% of the computer I am suggesting you build here today. So I'm telling you right now, this is a significant amount of savings. And if you are one of those people that look to splurge and spend a little bit extra during the Black Friday time of the year, this is a really good use of your money. You, there's not really anything I can think of that you would not be able to do with this system. So um, I'm sorry this was kind of a rushed video, but you know, with the nature of sales being you know very time sensitive, uh, I figured it's best to just get this out there and throw out my suggestions so that you guys have you know some direction if you didn't have some already. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I hope that you uh, get everything you're looking for this Black Friday. If you're going to be going out there. Please be safe. I, I really don't like tuning into the news and, and seeing that people got injured or even worse, you know, killed for just trying to save some extra cash. So uh, be safe. I hope all of you guys have a really good Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrate. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a good day. Great day. Have a great day. Have a great 